Hello, YouTubers. This is Triple Seven Die Hard Forever coming at you with another highly anticipated and highly recommended model as I continue to play catch up. Today, I'll be doing a review on a Gemini Jets Lufthansa Airbus A330 300 in their current revised livery scheme in a 1 200 scale model. I purchased this model from Easy Toys and their website address is www.easytoys.com. But first, before I go into details about this particular aircraft model, Please allow me to share you some information about the history of Lufthansa and how they actually came about, if you would please. Lufthansa is a German-based airline whose history beginnings can actually be traced back to 1926 when Doha Lufthansa AG was first formed in Berlin, Germany. DLH, as it was known for short, was actually the major flag carrier airline for the country of Germany up until 1945 when all services were suspended following the defeat of Germany in World War II. Then fast forward eight years later to January 6, 1953, in an effort to create a new national airline, a company called Lufthansa was founded in Cologne, Germany. Then on August 6, 1954, Lufthansa acquired the name and the logo of the liquidated Deutsche Lufthansa for 30,000 Deutschmarks, thus continuing the tradition of a German flag carrier airline of that name, which is mostly recognized today as Lufthansa, as the airline officially commenced operations shortly thereafter on April 1, 1955. The name of the company, Lufthansa, is derived from the word Luft, which is the German word for air, and Hansa, which is the Latin term meaning guilt, which is most commonly used historically in reference to the Hanseatic League. Whereas the headquarters of Lufthansa is located in Dius, which is an inner city sectional part of Cologne, Germany, while the carrier's main hub and base of operations is located on the grounds of Frankfurt Airport, which is located approximately seven and a half miles southwest of the central district section of Frankfurt, Germany, which is located in the Frankfurt suburb of Kelsterbach. Lufthansa also has a secondary hub that's located on the grounds of Munich Airport, which is located approximately 17.7 miles northeast of Munich, Germany, which is located near the city of Friesen, Bavaria, Germany. Lufthansa is the national flag carrier airline for the country of Germany, as well as the second largest operating airline in Europe at the Rhine Air that's based in terms of fleet size and passengers carry, as Lufthansa currently flies to 220 destinations in 81 countries across Africa, North and South America, Asia, and Europe, with an operating fleet of 291 aircraft, which includes 11 Airbus A330-300, including this one you're looking at here, with no unfulfilled orders pending on this particular aircraft type as of June 2023 or at the time of this video review posting. Also as of June 2023 or at the time of this video review posting, Lufthansa is one of 59 airlines in the world of aviation that currently operates as a certified four-star airline carrier according to the international airline review firm Skytrax magazine and the Airbus destination code for Lufthansa on this particular aircraft is 43X. All right, everyone, let's take a look at the front of the box here. What you're looking at is pretty much in silver. You see the blue engraved Gemini 200 decal, the computer generated picture of the aircraft, the aircraft type, the registration ship number, the airline's corporate logo, the Lufthansa title, the 1 200 scale diecast model aircraft, as well as the item number information you see at the front of the box. All right, now you're looking at the back of the box, and what you're looking at is the computer-generated picture of the aircraft, the Gemini 200 decal, as well as some more information right there at the back of the box. Also, their uh, social media uh, pages of Gemini Jets. You can pause and read that information if you like. In the meantime, I'm going to keep this moving, okay? All right, now you're looking at the top of the box, and what you see is the Gemini 200 in gray blue decal, the one in the collectible model information, as well as the item number information you see at the top of the box. All right, now you're looking at the bottom box, and all you see there is the Gemini 200 decal in front of the bottom of the box. All right, now you're looking at the left side of the box, and what you're looking at is the engraved blue Gemini 200 decal, the aircraft type, the registration ship number, the computer generated picture of the aircraft, the 1 200 scale diecast model, and item information you see on the left side of the box. All right, now you're looking at the right side of the box. It's pretty much the same information on the left side of the box I showed you earlier on, okay? 
All right, now you look at the actual model stand that actually came with the model. You see this black pattern right up here, everyone. The sole purpose of that black pattern is to protect as well as prevent your model from being damaged or scratched when you decide you want to put your model on this particular model stand, okay? Now you're looking at this plastic bag, and what you see inside this plastic bag are the actual gear replacement doors, featuring the two little toothpicks for these gear replacement doors. Please stay tuned as I go into details for the sole purpose of these gear replacement doors for this particular aircraft model, okay? Okay, with all that information out of the way about the history of Lufthansa and how they actually came about and still operating strongly as we speak, plus all the details here at the front of the box as well as the back of the box, plus the actual model stand that came with the model, as well as the gear replacement doors inside that plastic bag there. With no further ado, everyone, here is the actual model out of the packaging box. Check it out. There it is, everyone. The Gemini Jets Lufthansa Airbus A330-300 in their current revised livery scheme in a 1-200 scale model. All right, allow me to share some information about this particular livery scheme on this aircraft, if you would, please. This is the current revised livery scheme of Lufthansa, which is called the Lufthansa Blue Livery Scheme, which was officially unveiled at a special unveiling ceremony that was held at Lufthansa's Aviation Center facility, which is located on the grounds of Frankfurt Airport in Frankfurt, Germany, on February 8, 2018. And the first aircraft that began sporting this livery scheme was a Boeing 747-8I intercontinental jetliner aircraft, which bared the registration ship number Delta Alpha Bravo Yankee Alpha, as the fuselage of the aircraft actually remained Euro white, whereas the long blue arc part of the tail now extends down underneath the rear of the fuselage. The Lufthansa logo, which is actually displayed on the tail fin of the aircraft, is also similar to the previous logo that features the enriched stylized crane that's flying inside the circle that was previously painted in yellow has since been replaced and painted with the color of silver as part of a greater rebranding effort on the behalf of the German-based carrier Lufthansa to distinguish itself as a premium-based airline as Lufthansa expects to have its entire fleet painted in this livery scheme by the end of 2025. The Lufthansa Blue updated revised livery scheme was actually created and designed by Ronald Wilde, who happens to be, by the way, the corporate design manager for Lufthansa. So, with all that information out of the way about this particular livery scheme, let's get down to the nitty gritty and allow me to show you all the details on this aircraft model. Shall we? Let's check it out. Now you're looking at the front of the aircraft here on the port side is where we're going to begin. You're going to see the, um, the, the nose gears right here, the landing nose gears right here, the landing gear struts, the landing gear door with the partial registration ship number on there, uh, K, uh, QO whatever that is, and then you see the Peter tubes, the static ports, what have you, the radon nose cone, the windshield wipers, the cockpit windows. I'm going to give you a better visual view of those details later on in the mile review, but underneath the uh, cockpit windows is the Lufthansa logo, which is this little logo you see right there, and this is the emblem of Lufthansa's logo, which was designed by the late German architect and graphic designer Otto Furley in 1918 as it symbolizes an enriched stylized crane in flight, as the emblem was adopted by Doha Chart Lufthansa in 1926 and has been the airline's official logo ever since, as this logo can also be visibly seen on the tail fin of the aircraft as well. I'm going to show you that right now. There's the logo, okay? All right, we're back at the front of the aircraft here on the port side where we should continue. And right by the L1 entrance door and between the cockpit windows there as well is the Start Lines decal, which is this little decal right you see right there. And Lufthansa joined the Star Alliance along with Air Canada, SAS Scandinavian Airlines System, Thai Airways International, and United Airlines as one of the five founding members on May 14, 1997, which consists of 26 airline members from five inhabited continents. Now you're looking at the yellow decal that's displayed next to the L1 and L2 doors, which is this little decal right there, as well as right there. What's inside those yellow decals is the Lufthansa logo, as well as the words Wacom, which is inscripted in the German language, which actually means welcome, which is also inscripted in the English language that's displayed inside this yellow decal as well. And then you see the Lufthansa titles right there. All right. 
Now underneath the uh, the business class window, you see the aircraft type right here, Airbus A330-300. Lufthansa took delivery of its very first Airbus A330-300 jetliner aircraft, which bears the registration ship number Delta Alpha India Kilo Alpha on March 3rd, 2004, and took delivery of their very last Airbus A330-300 jetliner aircraft, which bears the registration ship number Delta Delta, sorry about that, Alpha India Kilo Sierra on March 12, 2014. Lufthansa at one time registered and operated as many as 19 Airbus A330-300 in their fleet. And now as of June 2023, or at the time of this video review posting, there are only 11 Airbus A330-300 that actually remain operating in the carrier's fleet. As Lufthansa is currently the world's 13th largest airline operator of this aircraft variant type out of the 72 airline operators from around the world that also operate this particular aircraft type variant in their fleets as well at the time of this video review posting. All right, we still at the front of the aircraft here on the port side and underneath the Airbus A330-300 decal is the name of the aircraft, Koblenz, which is this little name right there. This particular aircraft is named in honor after this particular historic ancient city, which is located on the banks of the Rhine and the Moselle rivers that was established around 8 BC. As the name Koblenz was originated from the Latin word confluentes, which literally means confluence, as this actual confluence geographical area is actually known as the German corner, which represents a symbol of the unification of Germany, as this historic ancient city is located approximately 73 miles southeast of Cologne, Germany, and 77 miles northwest of Frankfurt, Germany. Okay? All right, we like to center the aircraft underneath the wing. You see the, uh, the landing bogey gears here. We include the landing gear struts as well as the landing gear doors. But more important, you see these nice looking detailed engines here. And these are the Rolls Royce Trent 772B 60 turbofan type engines that are used on this particular Lufthansa Airbus A330 300 jetliner aircraft. See all the little details right there. So I'm going to go and let, turn this model around, let you see the front of the engines. And we're going to actually find do they actually spin. Let's check it out. All right, now you're looking at the front of the engines here on the port side. We're going to actually find do they, the uh, engine blades actually spin. Let's check it out. Yes, they do. Very perfect. Awesome. And then you see the uh, inboard landing lights right here on the edge of the wing, as well as the front visual view of the landing bogey gears, which includes the landing gear struts, as well as the landing gear doors. Now you're looking at the front of the aircraft. We got a better visual view of the cockpit windows. The windshield wipers, the radon nose cone, the landing front nose landing gear doors, as well as the landing gear lights inside of the front nose landing gear doors, the landing gear struts, as well as the front visual view of the front nose landing gears. Now you're looking at the front of the engines here on the starboard side, and let's see if they spin over here as well. Yes, they do. Perfect. And then you see the inboard landing lights right there, as well as the front visual view of the landing bogey gears on this side of the aircraft, which includes the landing gear struts, as well as the actual landing gear doors. All right, we're still on the port side of the aircraft. What you're looking at is the, uh, the wing tip over here on this particular aircraft, including the rear navigation light you see there. All right, we're at the back of the aircraft here on the port side, and what you're looking at, Underneath the windows is the actual registration ship number, Delta Alpha India Kilo Oscar, which is this registration ship number you're looking at right there. Registration ship number, Delta Dash Alpha India Kilo Oscar. This aircraft was actually the 15th Lufthansa Airbus A330-300 jetliner aircraft that actually entered the carrier's fleet. And the first test flight on this aircraft took place on January 14, 2009, and was delivered to Lufthansa on February 18, 2009. Okay. All right, we're still at the back of the aircraft. Right next to the registration ship number is the actual German flag decal, which is this decal you see right here. And this flag decal represents the country where Lufthansa currently operates from as the national flag carrier airline for the country of Germany. Okay. 
All right, we're at the back of the aircraft here. And what you're looking at is a tail fin, which is painted in a custom-made Lufthansa blue, which is just all this right here. Plus, you're looking at the airline's corporate logo. They got this white here, but the actual logo is actually silver, okay? Now you're looking at the rear of the aircraft, and what you're looking at is the APU, auxiliary power unit, exhaust hole. This is this little detail right here. As well as the entire aircraft from the rear view angle. Let's check it out. There you have it. Awesome. All right, now you're looking at the front of the aircraft here on the starboard side where you see the front nose landing gears, the landing gear strut, the landing gear door featuring the partial registration ship number there, the P2 static ports, what have you, the radon nose cone, the windshield wipers, the cockpit window, the Lufthansa logo, the Star Alliance decal, the Lufthansa billboard title, the aircraft uh, type information, the name of the aircraft coblins, as well as the front cargo container loading door you see there. Now you're looking at the center of the aircraft here on the starboard side and underneath the wing you see the, uh, the outer landing bogey gears here including the landing gear struts as well as the landing gear doors and then you're looking at the, uh, the Rolls Royce Trent 772B-60 turbofan type engine on this side the aircraft as well you see the the engine columns right there, the engine thrust there is there well as detailed. Now you're looking at the winglet, wingtip device on this side of the aircraft, as well as the green navigation light you see displayed there as well. Now you're looking at the rear of the aircraft here on the starboard side where you see the rear cargo container loading door, the AFT boat bin door, the registration ship number, the German flag decal, the little back of the tail fin painted in the customized Lathansa blue, as well as the airline's corporate logo you see displayed on this tail fin of the aircraft as well. Now, before I show you the aerial bird's eye view of this aircraft mount, as well as the undercarriage belly view of this aircraft mount in full detail, please allow me to let you check out one feature, which is the rolling gears. Let's check it out. Starting right. Pretty impressive. So, goes, so far, so good. Okay. It tilts. See that? And the front nose gear swivels as well. You see there, there, and there. Okay. So, with no further ado, let's check out this aircraft from the aerial bird's eye view. Let's check it out. All right. Now you're looking at this aircraft model from the aerial bird's eye view. We're going to start at the front of the aircraft where you see the radon nose cone, the windshield wipers, the cockpit windows. Then you get to the top of it. You see the Lufthansa tiles on both sides. See antenna there. Uh, the, uh, satellite communications antenna right there. And then you slide over this way. The red antenna there. The ADF antenna right there. Another antenna. And that's the sat that's the actual satellite communications antenna right there. Sorry about that. Another antenna. And then you come up here. You see the uh, tail fin of the aircraft as well as the horizontal stabilizer you see there as well as there as well now we're talking about the wings over here no wing walkway but you got the flap slats aileron spoilers what have you see the engine there fuel dump valve as well as the wingtip device you see there then we come over this way flap slats aileron spoilers what have you fuel dump valve the engines, as well as the winglet wing to device on this side of the aircraft as well. All right, now you look at the undercarriage belly view of this aircraft model where you see the radon nose cone, the closed nose gear door, the actual nose gear door, as well as the front nose gear right there. And then you come up this way, see the uh, antennas, the anti collision beacon light, the hole where the stand goes in at, another couple more antennas there, the Gemini just uh, decal, and the APU housing doors right there, as well as the horizontal stabilizers underneath there. Now we check out the gears right here. Uh, a little problem tilting, that's okay. See the engines there, as well as the flap slats, um, uh, flap slats, aileron spoilers, what have you underneath here. 
fuel dump valve, as well as the winglet wingtip device you see there. Now let's check out over here. Gear, a little problem tilting, but that's okay. See the engine's there, as well as the wings underneath. It features the flap, slats, aileron spoilers, what have you underneath. Fuel dump valve, as well as the um, wingtip device on this side of the aircraft as well. All right, since I show you the aerial bird's eye view of this aircraft mount, as well as the undercarriage belly view of this aircraft mount in full detail, now I'm going to put it on that actual model stand you see there that I showed you earlier. So no further ado, everyone, here is the actual model on the stand. Let's check it out. Okay, finally got this model on the stand. No problem, no hesitation. As you see it displayed in the takeoff landing position you see there. Now I'm going to let this uh, model rotate on this uh, display here, this rotating display stand here in a clockwise rotation from the port side, the tail cam angle, the uh, starboard side as well as the front of the aircraft. Let's check it out. Tail cam angle. Starboard side. Front of the aircraft. And back to the port side. All right. Before I take this model to stand, I got it at this angle for a reason. And the reason is the magnetic gears that came with the model. So I'm going to go ahead and take them all, starting with the front nose gear right here first, which is magnetic, you see there. The gears here on the port side, that's magnetic there as well, as well as the gears on the starboard side. Those are magnetic as well. So I'm going to let you see this model at a different angle in flight mode position. Check it out. Now you see this model displayed in flight mode position without the gears. Now you got one or two options how you want to display your model. If you want to display your model like this in flight mode slash gears up position without the gears, that's fine. You see these gear replacement doors in this bag I showed you earlier. That's the sole purpose of these gear replacement doors. So you can substitute your uh, gears while you display your model like this in flight mode slash gears up position. Or you can keep them on there in the gear down position. Gears up, gear down your choice. I choose to leave mine on there because it adds more value to the model. So with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and put these gears back on this model, take this model off the stand, and go ahead and wrap up this model review, okay? All right, let's talk about the seating configuration. The Lufthansa Airbus A330-300 jetliner aircraft seats 255 passengers in a three-class configurated cabin layout. All right, everyone, here's the breakdown from rows 1 to 11, which will be about from here to about right here. You have 42 business class live flatbed seats, row 15 to 19, which will be from about right here to about right here. You have 28 premium economy class seats in rows 22 to 46, which will be about from about right here all the way back to the rear of the aircraft. You have an additional 185 economy class seats, which brings to a total of 255 seats. And finally, as of June 2023, or at the time of this video review posting, Lufthansa currently employs this aircraft or have previously utilized this particular aircraft, the Airbus A330-300 on routes from Frankfurt, Germany to destinations such as Accra, Ghana, Abu Dhabi, United Arab Emirates, Abuja, Nigeria, Addis Ababa, Ethiopia, Almaty, Kazakhstan, via Astana, Kazakhstan, Astana, Kazakhstan, Atlanta, Georgia, Austin, Texas, Bahrain via Riyadh, Saudi Arabia, sorry about that, Boston, Logan, Cancun, Mexico, Cape Town, South Africa, Caracas, Venezuela, Dallas, Fort Worth, Denver, Colorado, Detroit, Metro, Daman, Saudi Arabia via Kuwait City, sorry about that, Doha, Qatar, Dubai, United Arab Emirates, Houston, Bush, Jeddah, Saudi Arabia, Kuwait City, Kuwait, Lagos, Nigeria, Malabo, Guinea, 
via Lagos, Nigeria, Mali, Maldives, Miami, Florida, Montreal, Canada, Moscow, Duma, Dedevo, Muscat, Amman via Abu Dhabi, United Arab Emirates, Nairobi, Kenya, Newark, New Jersey, New York, JFK, Nur Sultan, Kazakhstan, Orlando, Florida, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, San Diego, California, St. Louis, Missouri, Seattle, Washington, Tampa, Florida, Tehran, Iran, Toronto, Pearson, Riyadh, Saudi Arabia, and Washington, Dulles, from Berlin, Tegel, to New York, JFK, from Dusseldorf, Germany, to Newark, New Jersey, and from Munich, Germany, to Boston, Logan, Charlotte, North Carolina, Chicago, O'Hare, Delhi, India, Denver, Colorado, Dubai, United Arab Emirates, Miami, Florida, Montreal, Canada, Mumbai, India, New York, JFK, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, Riyadh, Saudi Arabia, Toronto, Pearson, Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada, and Washington, Dulles. Well, everyone, this will conclude this model review. I'd like to know if you got this model or you plan on getting this model. A couple of deals still have it. You probably want to snatch it up because it's becoming a hot sell as we speak. So with that said, please take care. God bless. Stay tuned. There's more model content coming. Peace.